I'm going to begin with a brief review of the Euler totient function. To skip this and go straight to the solution, look for the bookmark in the video description. The totient function, phi of n, counts the number of integers less than or equal to n that are relatively prime to that number. Looking at a simple example, we can take n is equal to the power of a single prime. We list out all the numbers that are less than or equal to n, including the multiples of that prime. We notice that every pth in an integer divides our number. So the number of integers that divide our number n, we count them by taking all of our integers and dividing by p. So to find the number that are relatively prime, we take this fraction and we subtract from n. Factoring out p to the e, this is phi of n. For a slightly more complicated example, we'll take n is equal to the product of two primes, raised to their respective exponents. To find phi of n, we're again going to find the number of numbers that divide n and subtract it from n. This is n minus the number of multiples of the two primes. We subtract the number of multiples of p1 and the number of multiples of the second prime, but then we need to add back in the multiples of the product p1, p2. We will have counted them twice. That's the principle of inclusion and exclusion. We know how to do this from our simpler example. We take n and divide by our first prime. We can also subtract out n divided by our second prime, and we're going to add back in n divided by the product of our two primes. We can factor out n, and this part inside the brackets also factors. So this is our formula for the totient function when n is the product of the powers of two primes, and we have a similar formula for any number of primes. Let's return to the problem. First, we'll rewrite our repeating decimal as a fraction in the usual way. Dividing, we get that our number is a fraction with a denominator equal to 9999, and our numerator has up to four digits. Let's consider first a naive solution to the question of how many numerators we can have. We can start counting with a numerator of 1, a numerator of 2, but when we have a numerator of 3, we need to rewrite this in lowest terms. And we see that this does not give us another unique numerator, so we need a different way to count. I'm going to show you how to do this by using a simpler example with a denominator equal to 12. We're going to count the number of unique numerators that we can create with fractions in lowest terms with a denominator equal to 12. To skip the simpler example and continue with the solution, look for a bookmark in the video description. We're going to do casework on the value of the denominator in lowest terms. First, we're going to count all the fractions. When reduced to lowest terms, do not cancel with any of the factors of 12. To count the number of numerators, we can just use the Euler totient function. Plugging into our formula, we find that the number of numerators that don't cancel with 12 is 4. We can list these out easily to confirm. Our four unique numerators so far are 1, 5, 7, and 11. These are all the numerators that do not share any factors with 12 they don't have any twos or threes in their prime factorization. Continuing our casework, we'll now look for fractions that reduce to have a denominator of three. So we're looking for fractions that are gonna cancel out our two twos. Since we wanna cancel our two twos, a naive solution might be to have a multiple of four in our numerator. This isn't going to work for us though, because we've already found the numerators that don't share any factors with 12. So now we need numerators that do share factors with 12, but that factor cannot be three, otherwise it'll cancel this three in the denominator. So a has to be a multiple of two, so instead our numerator has to be a multiple of eight. That's gonna give us a numerator that shares a factor with 12, but not three. Continuing, we note that this fraction has to be less than one, which means a is equal to one. This means our numerator is two, and our fraction is 2 thirds. And we can add 2 to our list of unique numerators. Now let's apply this algorithm to our more complicated fraction. First, we note the prime factorization of the denominator, and we can eliminate the numerators that are relatively prime to the denominator and leave a denominator of 9999. And we'll use our totient function here to count those numerators. We count 6,000 unique numerators that don't cancel our denominator. Since we're looking for the mod 1000 residuals, 
This doesn't contribute to our sum. Now we're going to continue to do casework on the value of our denominators. Let's keep track of them by writing the product pairs off to the left. The next denominator that we could have with canceling is 3333. Three, three, three. Because 3333 three, three, three shares all the same primes as 9999, nine, 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 if a number is relatively prime to 9999, nine, 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 it's also going to be relatively prime to 3333. Three, three, three. All those numerators that we found for 9999 can also be found with a denominator of 3333, three, 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 and so they won't be unique, and we don't need to check this case. The next denominator is 1111. We get that when we cancel the 3s in the numerator. We're going to have our numerator be a product of 3 cubed, again because we're looking for numerators that do divide into 9999, because we've already counted the ones that don't but they can't divide 11 and 101, so the only thing that remains is 3. They can't divide 11 or 101, otherwise they'll cancel out these primes. Again, we want this fraction to be less than 1, so we'll solve the inequality for a, and since a is an integer, it's going to be less than or equal to 370. As I mentioned earlier, we can't have a divide 11 or 101, otherwise we won't get the right denominator. So we're looking for all values of a, less than or equal to 370, but without the multiples of 11, 101, or 11 times 101. We note that there are 33 multiples of 11 that are less than 30, 370, and three multiples of 101 that we need to subtract from 370. This product pair is greater than 370, so we don't need to count it. Adding to our list of unique numerators, we have 370 minus the 33 multiples of 11 and the three multiples of 101 which gives us 334 numerators with a denominator of 1111. Our next denominator is 909. We'll get this when we cancel the 11. We need an extra 11 in our numerator because we've already counted the ones that are relatively primed to 9999, and we don't want to cancel any of the 3s or the 101s. Our fraction has to be less than 1, and solving the inequality for b gives integer values of b less than or equal to 82. We don't want b to cancel out the 909, so we subtract the number of multiples of 3 and the number of multiples of 101 that are less than or equal to 82. We don't need to worry about 101, but we have 27 multiples of 3. So we'll subtract that from 82, leaving us with 55 more numerators that give us a denominator of 909. And we note that if a number is relatively prime to 909, it's also going to be relatively prime to 303, since they both have the primes 3 and 101 in their prime factorization. So we can skip 303 and check for fractions with a denominator of 101. Here we're going to cancel the 3s and the 11. Our numerator can't be relatively prime to 9999, but it also can't have 101 in its prime factorization. So when we cancel out the 3 squared and the 11, we want to leave an extra 3 and 11 in our numerator. The fraction has to be less than 1, so we'll solve this inequality and we have c is less than or equal to 3. c equals 1, 2, 3 is not going to cancel our 101, so this gives us three more numerators. The next denominator in the list is 99. We get this when we cancel the 101 in the denominator. We still want to share a factor with 9999. That's not a 3 or an 11. When we cancel everything, we see straight away that our fraction is greater than 1. We have no new numerators with a denominator of 99. And we're going to have the same problem with canceling to produce these other smaller denominators. So we're done counting. Let's total everything up. Our first sum was 0 in mod 1000. So we have 334, 55, and 3 more down here. This gives us 392. If you'd like me to solve any more Amy or AMC problems, please leave them in the comments.